We've got a brand new update on The Witcher 4 from CD Projekt Red. This is a very exciting update because it shows us that CD Projekt Red has learned from the mistakes of Cyberpunk 2077. Also last week we got a huge update on Unreal Engine 5 and the development staff of The Witcher 4 and I'll leave those videos in the description and pinned comment section below. So the article is from Game Rant and it says CDPR reveals how The Witcher 4 development will differ from Cyberpunk 2077. A senior CD Projekt Red official highlights one important aspect in The Witcher 4's development how it will differ from that of Cyberpunk 2077. It says The Witcher 4 won't leave consoles as an afterthought the way Cyberpunk 2077 did, a senior CD Projekt Red official has revealed. This claim has offered as part of a wider retrospective on how the troubled launch of Cyberpunk 2077 is informing CDPR's future projects. So this is already fantastic news. It looks like The Witcher 4 and the sequel to Cyberpunk Cyberpunk and the future Witcher projects will keep consoles in mind because the power of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox series is a lot more capable than that of the PS4 and Xbox One. And that is a major reason why Cyberpunk 2077 was so hard to develop for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. But right now we haven't even scraped the true power of the PS5 and Xbox series. The article continues, not much has been revealed about the fourth mainline installment in the Witcher series since CDPR confirmed in 2022 that the game itself is happening based on the few tidbits bits that the studio shared over the next year, The Witcher 4 is codenamed Polaris and won't actually have a number in its title, so it won't actually be The Witcher 4, on top of being planned to release before the upcoming remake of the original Witcher game from 2007. And while the development of The Witcher 4 remains shrouded in mystery, CDPR management and audio engineering director Colin Walder has now shed some light on one notable aspect of the project during his recent appearance at the the ninth Inven game conference in Pangyo, South Korea, Walder revealed that CDPR adopted a much more platform inclusive approach to the development of Project Polaris. So another confirmation there that The Witcher 4 won't actually be The Witcher 4 and a lot of people are saying that the next game will be called The Witcher A New Saga because of that Lynx medallion that had the same tagline on the poster reveal. The article continues, specifically the studio is already running demos and internal performance reviews on consoles, the official revealed. Walder acknowledged how console testing is something CDPR only started doing during the later stages of Cyberpunk 2077's development with less than ideal results to put it mildly. So just stop in here for a second, CD Projekt Red is testing consoles and we can assume of course these are the PlayStation 5 and Xbox series, however, we know from all the major rumours that the PlayStation 5 Pro console is coming next year and we are also led to believe from from some rumors that PlayStation have already given developers the dev kits for the PS5 Pro model. However, the Xbox series won't be getting a Pro model, but rather a design upgrade similar to the PS5 Slim, which doesn't have any upgrades internally, but rather is a sleeker model and more consumer efficient. So by consoles here, we can definitely assume that the PlayStation 5 Pro dev kit is amongst them. The article goes on to say the Witcher 4 should consequently do a much better job at offering acceptable console performance at launch compared to Cyberpunk 2077. That's all the more important given how the upcoming title might end up being another cross-gen release for CDPR. As a reminder, the technical issues plaguing Cyberpunk 2077 at launch largely stemmed from the game's PS4 and Xbox One versions, both of which struggle to maintain a stable frame rate amongst other problems, the fiasco ended up being costly mistake for CDPR, with the company recently revealing that fixing Cyberpunk 2077 set the developers back over $126 million. Another thing to note here is the fact again that this could be a cross-gen release, but likely a cross-gen release over the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 5 Pro. Now this is going to be a problem for Xbox because they won't have a Pro model to compete with as Phil Spencer said himself. However, by the time The Witcher 4 releases in 2025 or 2026, we're already going to be moving towards the next PlayStation and Xbox. And probably during the end cycles of development of The Witcher 4, Sony and Xbox would have already given CD Projekt Red a dev kit for the next PlayStation and the next Xbox. But I think it's a definite that when The Witcher 4 releases, the three consoles it will appear on is the PlayStation 5, the PlayStation 5 Pro, and the Xbox Series X and S. And we also know that CD Projekt Red has ambitious plans to release The Witcher 5 and 6 within a six year period off the initial release of The Witcher 4.
4. So those games will likely, of course, be PlayStation 6 titles. And I think the fact that CD Projekt Red spent $126 million in fixing Cyberpunk 2077 and building Phantom Liberty just shows how much they care about their franchises, care about their fans, and care about their games. It was a disaster of a launch for Cyberpunk 2077, and that's something that shouldn't have happened and should never happen again. And it's great to see that CD Projekt Red is learning from that monumental mistake and have plans to make sure that that never happens by focusing more on the console versions and keeping that in mind when developing their next projects. And they have a ton of projects, including the sequel to Cyberpunk 2077, which we talk about on this channel, multiple Witcher projects, including a multiplayer game, a remake of the first one and the Witcher 4, 5 and 6, and a brand new IP called Project Hader. And we talk about all of that on this channel, so go ahead and subscribe for more. And I'll also leave those videos down in the description and comment section below. And I want to thank you for 6,000 subscribers. It really is insane. So thank you all for that. And I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Thank you so much, guys, and take care. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind